All right, we're back in the war room. Good calls back then. Good emails, too. Kate writes in a player she likes to see uh, get his come up. This was Brian Marchment. Yeah. And uh, Corey Perry. Shimi. <laughs> yeah. Patrick's uh, Sean Avery. When he sh- waved the uh, stick in front of uh, Marty that time. Yeah, Although the I usual laughed. suspects. I laughed when that happened. Let's go down to Los Angeles, California. Home of the Stanley Cup champions, folks. Yep. And by the way, they're not doing too bad. They're going to be in the playoffs, if you didn't know that. They got off to a bad start. But the Royal Half is a great website if you want to read all things Kings. And the Half likes Mr. Half, likes to come on with us, and we like to have him on with us to talk all things Kings. How you doing, Mr. Half? You know, you guys, I started off on the show as the L.A. Kings disaster correspondent. Yeah, pretty much. So I'm, so I'm glad that you're having me on after that game versus Dallas on Tuesday night, which uh, was a total disaster. Ah, uh, no, that's not why. It was coincidental, actually. I've been following the Kings, my third favorite team in the league. I've been following the Kings and uh, got off to that bad start, and we had you on early in the season, but you you were pretty confident things they could right the ship. They have. They're, they're fourth in the West, and I'm um, looking right now. They're on, you know what? That's as high as they're probably going to finish. It just matters how low they finish. Where do you think they're finished? Yeah, you know, I don't think there's any way they can catch the no. Anaheim Ducks. No. Um, you know, I think you're you're looking at the Kings with the remaining games. There's no reason I think they shouldn't be in that four or five slot. Um, it'd be great to get uh, home ice advantage, but you know, I don't necessarily want that because, as we learned last year, the Kings are the best when their backs are up against the wall in an eighth seed. So. Um, I think a first-round matchup with San Jose would be amazing. Uh, we, we did that uh, two years ago when the Andre Kopitar had his injury. Yeah. So we weren't able to really compete. Um, but I think they're looking at the four or five seed, and, uh, you know, it's going to be hopefully another another Stanley Cup run. Yeah, and I don't know how often you can go to the well on that backs-against-the-wall thing. Uh, sports doesn't tend to work that way, as you know. <laughs> home record of both teams right now, L.A.'s 14-4-1, and one, San Jose's 14-1-5. and five. So home ice advantage may actually matter if those two teams match up. Now I want to talk about how it's been just now that the Kings are back into the playoffs. Um, I, what I'm trying to word. Uh What's the word I'm trying to look for? Malaise. Uh, mi- no, minus a minus. I couldn't come minus. up with the word minus. I need to eat. Minus a big swoon coming up. It's not going to happen. The Kings will be there. Uh, what's the attitude been of the fans this year? Now that they have a cup finally under their belt, and they've seen their team get off to a bad start, but they're back. Are they jaded now? Is it like a whole hum? What are Kings fans like? Well, uh, Mick, I appreciate your optimism, but remember, this is a Los Angeles King. So until that playoff spot is, is clinched, I will never believe that they're going okay, to Okay, okay, I buy that. Yep. Spot. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, look, people have accused uh, me especially and other LA Kings fans of being a little bit more cocky. Um, I, I just think that we finally have that one thing that every franchise, uh, specifically the San Jose Sharks, uh, <laughs> need to be able to – to talk yeah. about their team. So it, it, we, no matter what, if anyone makes fun of you or anyone talks about how you lost 5-1 to Dallas, you can just show that picture of, of Mike Richards holding up the Stanley Cup to, <laughs> to feel you know great again. Uh, the fever in L.A. is out of control. We have a waiting list for season seats good. in Los Angeles. That's good. I'm going to repeat that. We have a waiting list. <laughs> So we're, we're finally on par with, with some of the bigger franchises in terms of fan demand. And, and you know, I'm a half-season ticket holder, uh, and they've had to make some adjustments to that package. And, and you don't get a lot of the benefits as a half-season ticket holder for next year that you once had. But that's the harsh reality of, of having a hockey market finally. Yeah, and it's strange that all your games are against the Avalanche, but uh, at least you get wins. <laughs> now, what's it like, though, the season after you guys win the Cup? Anaheim's having a resurgent season. I think it's great. I mean, I'm from Southern California, so I actually hate Northern California more than I hate Anaheim. I understand that, so yes. I, I think it's great that the, the Kings and Ducks are, are could potentially meet in the Western Conference Finals. Um, and I think that if that happens, they should play it with the San Jose Sharks in attendance so that they can have <laughs> two teams that have won a cup uh, battle it out in the playoffs. You are a cruel but wonderful man. We're talking to the Royal Half. Uh, the website again. What, what the address for it? Uh, theroyalhalf.com, and you can follow me on Twitter at the Royal Half. And we're kind of a, a fun and a reverent look at the the Los Angeles Kings. And and for 44 years we didn't have a Stanley Cup, and now we have one. Absolutely. Now you're telling me you got you've been writing for the Kings website to some degree, uh, and you ran into some trouble recently, did you? <laughs> um, well, I don't know if I ran into some trouble, but the the Kings uh, social media team has been awesome throughout the season 
and they allowed me to take over uh, twice this year. I've taken over the Kings' Twitter feed um, for the second period of a game, and I got a little bit excited about making fun of, of uh, Nail Yakupov. Uh, Jeff Carter and him got into a little bit of a tussle during the second period, and I tweeted out, um, you know, Je- Jeff Carter touches uh, Nail Yakupov, and now he's been touched by greatness. And huh. the Edmonton yeah. Oilers Twitter feed sent uh, a tweet back to the LA Kings with a picture of Gretzky holding up one of 18,000 Stanley Cups. Yeah, of course. And said, why don't you get a couple more of these before you talk about greatness? Yeah. It, it's all in fun. And you saw what the Dallas Stars did the other night uh, to the Anaheim Ducks um, after they beat the Kings. They sent out a tweet of Dikembe Mutombo shaking his finger saying, uh-uh, you guys aren't making the playoffs just yet. So I think it's fun when these teams can kind of trash talk and you know everyone loves to use the phrase chirp each other. Over Twitter. No, no, I agree. And, uh, yeah, you, you didn't get in trouble. That uh, I like to see you in trouble. That's when you're, your back's against the wall. That's when the Royal Half does his best work. An outdoor game in Los Angeles. Are you all for it? I am 100% for the outdoor game. I don't care if it's called a winter classic. Um, one of the other, one of my fellow bloggers, uh, Mayor's Manor, has dubbed it the Hollywood classic. Uh, I think it's going to be fantastic. It's something that we've always dreamed of forget about being in los angeles it's just great to see a western conference team yeah in an outdoor team. Yeah, yeah, agreed uh, <laughs> so i think it's gonna be exciting um i'm, I'm definitely gonna be there at dodger stadium and uh i, I remember the, the the infamous outdoor game that was in vegas against the new york rangers <laughs> what well, 91 uh, i think yeah yeah and by the third period you could see giant bugs yeah. uh, on the ice so I, I think the technology has come a little bit further than then, uh, but I still hope that the goalie wears a Rudy, uh, Kelly Rudy uh, helmet cam like he did in that game. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Good memory. The, the Royal Half. Check out his website. Mr. Half, let's get you on again in the next couple of weeks as we uh, fall into the playoffs. You got it. Always a pleasure. Appreciate that. The Royal Half. Check out his site. Peter actually found out his real first name, but we are not going to divulge that. <laughs> we may divulge it to the winner of one of our contests. That may be your prize. Boy, you can hardly wait, huh? No, it's a good website. It's a funny website, and it's a great hockey website. you got a sense of humor for your hockey. You better. 